Um, that play, uh, when I took off running and Kendall Dobie, he was inside of me and I was like, I was like, it's gonna be hard to throw this kid by, you know what I mean? Because he's a good DB. And so um, I just jumped up for the ball and you know, I thought I was gonna get hit. I didn't even know I was in between two players, so I thought I was gonna get hit. And then I came down and I was just happy and I took off running, you know. We scored and then that was 35-35, that tied the game up and that was a big one. You had a quarterback last year who threw the ball extremely well. He graduates, people wondering, who's going to throw the ball this year? <laughs> you guys get a, a transfer in Cade Rice. Talk about what he's brought to the team. Um, Cade has brought a lot to the team. Um, he took a lot of stress off my shoulders, you know, because, I mean, we had a good uh, quarterback last year, Keaton Kessley, and then Cade came in. He learned the system fast. Um, he moved here and everything, and, you know, he bought into the program, and I really respect that out of him. And ever since we got here, we've been winning games. And, you know, we're still – we have a few mistakes we got to clean up, but he's cleaning them up every week, and receivers are cleaning them up, so we're looking pretty good. Everyone's going to ask you about the recruiting process and where you're at with that. Talk about that right now because I know you made the change. And you, you, I respect the fact that, you know, the people want to know mm -hmm. what you're thinking, especially with everything going on with, with COVID and dead periods and all that stuff. Um, so with the recruiting process right now, um, I'm filling out my recruitment, you know, because I feel like I rushed it a little bit, and I, that's on me, you know what I mean, with uh, UM. So um, I just want to take care of that, and I want to build relationships with the coaches. Um, a lot of schools have reached out, um, Penn State, Ohio State, Minnesota, um, Arkansas, Missouri, so Florida. A lot of schools have reached out, and I respect that, but um, I'm going to, like, play the season out, you know, then decide with my family to make sure me and the coaches' bond is good and relationships are built. How hard is it to build relationships over virtual calls, Zoom calls, uh, as compared to being able to go shake a guy's hand and look him in the eye and get the dope? Um, it's pretty hard, you know, because you can't buy into words. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like I wasn't looking at that when I first committed, you know what I mean? So you really can't buy into a coach saying you're going to play, you're going to do this stuff, all this other stuff, you know what I mean? So you just got to constantly talk. Um, the more they get to know about you, the better. The more you get to know about them, the better. So, I mean, we got to basically go off of that because we can't visit or nothing. So it's pretty hard, but, you know, your gut gives you a feeling for a reason, and God's timing is always perfect. So I'm waiting on God's timing. Go ahead. What's the communication been like with the Buckeyes? Um, it's been good. Uh, me and Coach Hartline, we've been talking uh, every other day. We talked a lot last week. Um, he's recruiting me. He told uh, our coaches he's recruiting me. Um, he just wants to see, like, more film and everything. And then uh, he wants to get some, like, uh, combine numbers on me and everything. But uh, he's been recruiting me hard, and we text. Um, that's a guy I can go to without talking about football. We can talk about anything. Um, he's a real uh, cool coach, um, and he's a real recruiter. So I really like that about him. You think a touchdown like you had tonight is the kind of play you need to make to get his attention? Uh, yeah, that, that touchdown, I, yeah, it's going to get a lot of people's attention. You know what I mean? Because um, – my uh, motto is never fold. And, you know, I couldn't fold on my team in that moment, and I had to do what I had to do for my team at that time. And I feel like I did what I did, and then now that's why we got the victory. So, I mean, you guys were down 28-7 tonight. You come all this way back. Like, what did, what are you saying to your teammates when you're in that position? 28-7, um, you know, I was just telling them because I'm not going to I got out of my realm, and I was just mad because, you know, they came out hot. They did come out hot, and they scored some quick touchdowns. But I had to regroup. I had to look at myself, and I was like, you got to be a leader. So a team needs a leader when they're down. So I took the lead of that. Um, I told everybody to keep their heads up. I told everybody to go out here and play with heart and, you know, let the, let the game play for itself. Obviously, Ohio State's recruited a lot of really talented receivers. So, like, what does it mean to you that they're showing that interest in you when you know they've got a lot of really talented guys committed? Um, it means a lot, you know what I mean, because uh, that's a big uh, collegiate program for football and academics. Um, you know, that actually shows me that uh, one of the best schools in the nation is looking at me. And, like, I'm actually proud of myself because, like, I came a long way from last year having nothing to now. Uh, being a national recruit and you know it it really makes me higher my standards you know what I mean and know what I want to look for and know uh, where I want to go in life what would you say are the other schools that are going after you the hardest right now um Penn State I will say that Cincinnati Virginia um Ohio State a little bit you know what I mean um and then West Virginia what are ultimately going to be the factors that make you decide on where you're going to go? Um, the factors is going to be relationships and if I feel comfortable with you. You know what I mean? Because you can still build that bond uh, over the phone. And, you know, building relationships, that's going to uh, increase the comfortability that I get with somebody. You know what I mean? So that's mainly my uh, main thing in recruiting. Do you have relationships with any Ohio State commits or any of the guys who are on the team now? Um, yeah, CJ Hicks. That's, that's like my little brother, little big brother because – He's younger than me, but he's bigger than me. But um, 
that's my brother. That's my guy. Um, I talked to, I forgot who I talked to, but I talked to a whole bunch of O State recruits. But they just reach out, follow. Um, Desan McAuliffe, yep. yeah, uh, he texted me. Well, he posted and tweeted. He was like, you know where to go, bro. So it's a it's a lot of good love from them. Yeah, I know CJ's kind of Captain Buckeye, they call him, because he's a yeah. recruiter. So is he, like, pushing the coaches, like, hey, offer my guy? Um, yeah, he uh, told me, he was like, I'm going to get your film to the coaches because I want to ball with you in college. And, you know, we always talked about that, and we always, like, wanted to be on the team. But he told the coaches about me, and I respect that from him as a player and as a man. So... Yeah, that's my brother. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, you you were committed to Michigan at one point. Now you you're looking at Ohio State. You're looking at Penn State. Kind of what's that been like for you? Um, it's been a blessing. You know, it's been a blessing, honestly, because like those are some prestigious colleges, and they're looking at me for football. And you know, like like I said before, I came a long way, and I'm just I'm just proud, and I'm glad that they actually see uh, the work that has been done. Uh, at nighttime, it's coming to under the lights on Friday nights and everything. So. I really like that. Big win for you guys. Successful season so far. Kind of what are your goals for the rest of the year? How do you feel like you finish this season strong and maybe get yourself that Ohio State offer? Um, my goals is uh, detailing my routes, you know what I mean? Detailing my releases at the line. Um, and then every week just coming and fixing the mistakes and, you know, sharpening every week as a team um, to get to a state because that's where we want we want to go, D1 state. You know what I mean? Northmont's never done that, so we really want to do that. And I feel like with the guys and the team that we have, it's, it's going to go there.